So it's a new year, 2023, and it started off with a bang, right folks? I mean, we're right there at the gates of, well, not quite, not yet, but you need to be prepared. The 2023 economic collapse has started and what is going to be taking place is a catastrophic event that we have to be prepared for. All the different high-tech analysts out there are all predicting that there is a recession on hand. The government doesn't see it that way. The government thinks everything's fine. We may have to re-raise the interest rates one more time, maybe, but it'll be a soft landing. Don't worry. All you American people, you'll be just fine. Believe the government. Everything will be just fine, and you'll be able to go on about your merry way just like before March of 2020. Who are they fooling, folks? I mean, come on. Let's just really think about this. you got high in inflation that is taking place right now. Interest rates are out of this wo world. I mean, people can't afford to buy anything because they can't afford the payments. People can't buy homes. They can't afford the payments. Can't buy a new car. You can't afford the payments because if, unless you got like a perfect credit score and you're getting like a 2.9% interest rate, then you're pretty much screwed. You have to take a loan out just to go to the food store and buy food for your, your family now some parts of this country eggs are anywhere between eight and ten bucks a dozen does anybody see a problem with this do you see a problem with all the high prices of meat chicken do you see a problem with the prices of butter cheese yogurt has anybody noticed that everything is rising has anybody noticed how prices are slowly keep creeping up and there's nothing that we can really do about it but we can be prepared if you are prepared at this point in time you are setting really pretty if you are prepared you have a great backup it's not that you don't care what is going to happen or what might take place down the road it's you are ready you have done your homework. You have prepared your food. You have prepared your supplies. You have prepared to sanitize water. Maybe you have water for backup in case they turn it off. You see, being a prepper makes you a small little target on a big giant scale because you're not having to put yourself out there trying to fight for those last pebbles of food like what took place in March of 2020 with the pandemic. The look on people's faces of the desperation for those last few canned goods and what they were willing to do to get those was amazing. There's a reason why you do not want to be a part of that. This 2023 economic collapse has very, very many components all put into it. We have a national deficit that's over $30 trillion. We also have our budget runs out really soon. We have the interest rates that they are going to be raising once again. How much? We just don't know yet. But I can guarantee you they will be going up. It's all part of the plan. You have the government saying no recession. You have all the top analysts saying recession. We just don't know where it all does lie. The price of gas has been forecasted by June to be over $4 a gallon for regular gas nationwide. What do you think that's going to put the price of diesel fuel and the truckers out of business? If things can't move, there'll be nothing in the stores. But don't worry, as of right now, a lot of these stores are rolling out all their old product that they didn't sell from last year because they have plenty of it. And it's all there for the taking for you to go spend 
what little bit of peasant money you have left after the government takes their cut you pay the the bills and there's not much left to go around if at all any so what are you to do 2023 the economic collapse the collapse of the common good of humanity the collapse that we all don't want to see happen but if you're prepared it doesn't matter if you have done your homework and you have been putting away food you've been putting away supplies you've been putting away things that you need on a daily basis for you and your family maybe you have been storing up some extra gasoline just on a case that there's an emergency and you need to get out of town there's things that you can do maybe if you have propane heat in your house you've bought extra propane tanks just to have as a emergency backup just in case doesn't hurt if you have a wood stove a fireplace maybe you ordered that extra quart of wood just on a chance that you may need it you see 2023 is going to be a very hard year for anybody that is not prepared the writing is on the wall we all can see what is happening just take a look at your grocery receipt as you're walking out the door and crying all the way to the bank we have to get our priorities straight we have to make sure that what we are doing with our money at this point in time is a very wise choice. We're not spending the money on stupid things. We're spending the money on things that can get us through any situation and so that we can survive any type of recession, any type of collapse, any type of catastrophic event natural disaster we are the ones that can do this and be prepared we have to stick together in 2023 and avoid the chaos of the collapse of the world as we know it